Hey guys, thanks for stopping in and checking out another video. Today we got a 2009 Nissan Sentra with rear uh, drum brakes. I don't think I've done a drum brake video uh, yet. So I figured why not, right? Bring you guys along. Uh, we're not doing the drums. We're actually just doing the brake shoes. We're gonna clean them up, make sure the wheel cylinders are working, make sure they're not leaking. Uh, we'll go over the whole process of cleaning and lubricating everything, make sure it's readjusted properly, and get it out the door, hopefully in quick fashion. Thanks for stopping in. All right, excellent. I hope this is a good angle for everybody. A little difficult. I want to get close enough where you can see all the components, but obviously not getting my own way. Uh, so, go over things real quick. Obviously, wheel cylinder, fluid inside, step on the brake, fluid pushes out, pushes the shoes out, contacts the drum, stops the wheel from spinning. Basic stuff right there. Uh, Self-adjuster, star wheel, just to, as you step on the brakes. If it pushes far enough, it pulls the arm up, turns the wheel, makes a slight adjustment, keeps the shoes close to the drum. <clears throat> the first thing I do want to check is I want to make sure the wheel cylinder isn't frozen. It's not co terribly common or uncommon, I guess. It, it happens where well, you get one or both sides of this wheel cylinder. There's two independent pistons inside of there that'll push out and come back in. And it's not unheard of to have one or both sides jam up where it's only pushing one side out and one shoe does nothing. So what I like to do is just get behind here real quick and just give it a little movement. I can see that side went in, that side went out. Give it a push back. Make sure nothing's binding up. It's kind of like when you compress a, uh, a brake caliper, you want to make sure it compresses evenly and, and smoothly that it's not jammed up. That actually feels pretty good. And then secondly, we're going to take a little screwdriver, we're going to pull these dust boots back, make sure no fluid comes pouring out of there. These are just dust boots, the real seal is inside of here, so between the, the piston with the seal and then the uh, this dust boot, it should stay kind of dry. You may see a little condensation or even a little moisture it's not nothing like that I'm talking about when you pull these out and brake fluid comes pouring out that's an issue and obviously time to change the wheel cylinders we're okay in this in this case so we are going to see if we can gingerly get I'm going to use this neat little tool here hooks the spring and see if we get this off they have the uh, we have the scissor let me show this real quick we have the old-fashioned uh, spring scissors which work well taking them apart I'm not too worried about damaging the, the lining putting them back together obviously I, want, I don't want to be jamming this into the into the line into the new brake lining uh, it can be done it can be done gingerly if you do it right hopefully I get off with these I like these a little bit better I say that until I screw it up there we go and this is going to sound, may sound amateur, but there's several different configure. Every every car, no, just about every car is configured differently. The way they put the springs on, upside down. There's one behind it. There's one down here. If you're not sure, for one, do one side at a time. Two, lay them out on something on your cart or something. Lay them out in order so that when you look down, okay, this was the top spring and it went. You know, front to back. This is the bottom spring. Don't be ashamed that you, you got. You know, don't put it in a pile, and then later on go. Oh, I don't remember. Did this go? You know, did it hook onto this one? Or sometimes there'll be two holes that are close to one another. And you're not sure. Okay, did it go in this hole or did it go in this hole? So don't be a, don't be ashamed to 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 lay them out in order, or you can take a picture beforehand. No shame in that. I've done it. I found myself. I had to do it. Again, because you do, you do, you know, you do one car. It's one, you know, you do one model. It's not too bad. You start doing a couple hundred different models, and every one of them is different. You lose your mind. I love when they put the spring behind here. Like, how am I supposed to get that off? And unfortunately, what you need to do with this one is we're gonna pull it. And just walk. Oh, actually, we're not gonna do that. First, we're gonna take the. We're gonna take these off. Nice and crusty. In case you don't know, it's 
got a little, let me see if you can see that. It's got a small, if I can focus on that right there. Yeah. Doesn't want to focus on my hand. It's got this little mushroom tip on it that fits into this little piece right here. And that's all it is. You're pushing this down, compressing the spring, turning it, and pulling it back apart. If these things are terribly corroded or rusted. They sell kits, uh, uh, hardware kits. Not a big deal. These aren't too bad. I'm going to use them. <clears throat> this is a family member, so I'm not afraid of trying to save a couple of dollars. The only one that's going to bite is me. So. Okay, my apologies. I do believe my camera went out of focus, so we'll try this again. Uh, both of the hold downs are out. I'm just going to give us a little pull. There's a spring in the back, which is... I don't want to say impossible to get to. I guess two different ways you can do this. I could pull out and pull it, pull it, pull it off, or I could try. I don't know if this would work. Yeah, I guess it does work. Same tool. As I said, I like this little tool. Works well. Okay. Now. Get the star adjuster, take note. There are different uh, notches cut out for, where is it? How this one on here, this set into, into here. Just keep note, don't when you put it back together. You'll be putting it back together this way and I'm wondering you know, what's missing. Again, it's just a matter of taking notation, but taking your time. Don't rush to rip it apart. Coming apart is easy. Then you go together and you go, oh. Forgot what this went. Even worse if you take both sides apart at the same time. All else fails. Go to the information. Okay, we got one of these. I love these clips. I think we can give us a little bit of spread here. There we go. A little bit of a spread. Spread with a little squeeze. There you go. Yeah, it's still gonna fight me just a little bit. There you go. There's usually there's usually a small wavy washer in here. I don't know if it's missing. I don't believe so. I'll have to check my information. It's either missing or it just doesn't have one in this case. Just fine. Now, now it's cleanup time. A little bit of nice soap. Brake cleaner, soap. Get all the nasty out. I like using, I have a, this is actually the same soap I use on the floor. It's like that purple soap. I mix it with a little bit of water. I keep it in a spray bottle. I like it. And I follow it up with, ready? Ah, crap! I can't get the sound event, though. i got to talk to Eric about that one. I noticed his signature. I just, I'm not that good yet. For those that don't know what I'm talking about, you got to know what I'm talking about. If you're watching me, you know who Eric O is, so. If not, check him out in South Main Auto. Way funnier than I am. Alright. Very nice. A little bit of compressed air. If you don't have compressed air, let it drip dry. Super. 
while I'm at it. Very nice. In case you're wondering, obviously, it's get the rust out from this flange. If there's any rust on here and our drum sits, it'll cock the drum a little bit and you'll end up with a real funky brake pedal. A little bit of synthetic grease. There's contact spots, usually three on each side. One, two, three. Hit, hit them with a little bit of synthetic grease. That is where the shoe is going to get pressed up against the backing plate and it's going to be sliding back and forth just a little bit. So we don't want it biting into the backing plate and hanging up. So we give it a little bit of grease. I also like to give a little bit of grease right in there. And a little grease right in there. Any place where you know it's going to slide, a little bit of grease. And, and one more. Let's not forget. I like to let me, let me put this down for a second. You guys see that? Yeah. Open this up just a little bit. Give that a little a little spritz. Clean that up nice. Rag. Write that down. Make sure that spins. Again, sometimes be careful. There'll be a little, sometimes a little washer on here as well. This one doesn't have one. Hmm. Not a huge deal. Make sure because this has to, this is getting held on both sides, and then this is the part that's going to get, it's going to spin. So we have to make sure it's not jammed up in here or here. So that when that little arm hits it, it'll be free to do what it needs to do. Otherwise, you get unadjusted brakes and you get a little, you'll notice the brakes will start to uh, travel a little further than they're supposed to as they wear instead of adjusting. So again, a little bit of grease. Repeat myself a little synthetic grease. For obvious reasons, it just works better. A little bit on the threads right here, and a little bit right in there. And then, spin it back down. When we're all done and back together, we'll open it back up, adjust the, uh, the linings to the drum, close that gap in there. But for now, beauty. We are cleaned up. Now we're just awaiting parts. Stand by while I wait for some parts. All right, we're back. We got parts. Uh, I have parts. Wait a second. Okay. They can set me new little clips. We call those Jesus clips because when you lose them, start calling for Jesus. Oh, Jesus, where'd my clip go? I'll try to do this upside down so you can see it. Which is probably just going to cause me grief, but I'll give it a shot. Oh, it's definitely going to cause me grief. Not to mention the lighting, it's right in the side of my eyeball. But I would say that pin is in all, in all the way, but it is. Huh. Let's check it against the other one. 
Yeah, see that one goes in for almost as if there's not enough pin sticking through. Well, let's see if there's a light there. Well, it's all the way through. It's almost as if that shoulder is not full enough. I'm going to do this and go smooth. It won't. You know what I need to do? I need to go make sure that pin is seized. All right, well, <clears throat> found a problem. And I don't know if this is gonna show up or not. Let's give it a shot. This is a, yeah, you can kind of see it. There's a knurl. See that little shoulder right there? Apparently that must have run, I'm going out of focus here. That must have run all the way up the, the side of this. And we jammed it in the hole in the brake shoe. It pushed the knurl down, kind of stripped it down almost to the end and left that little, whatever that is, 32nd of an inch. <clears throat> and that was holding it far enough. Uh, let's see if I got this right. It was far enough to hold it. It wouldn't sit all the way into the webbing of the shoe. It was holding it back just a little bit, which is preventing me from getting the clip on. Sounds stupid, right? There's really not, I mean, I can try to clean that up and it would go further into the shoe, or I just, what I did is, I just knocked the pin out of the old shoe so I use the old pin simple enough <clears throat> just goes to show you can always count on parts even if you are buying quality and these are quality shoes they're not cheap shoes it was a it was a Monday shoe or a Friday shoe or whatever the case is <clears throat> and somebody was looking to get the hell out of there it wasn't paying attention but fixable look now my clip goes on nice just annoying, another annoying step that shouldn't have to be. I gotta look at it and try to think like I'm doing something wrong. But I should try to do this right handed because I am right handed. There you go. Alright, so anyway, I think I got some of that out of focus. I'm not gonna undo it just to redo it. But uh, let me see if I get this up here a little better. Let me see if I can turn this camera just a little bit. Oh, not that way. This way. All right. That clip fits now. Now that I've, you know, swapped the old pin out. Put the bracket on. Put a new clip on. Squeeze it on with a pair of pliers. Pretty simple. Make sure it moves. It's not going to pop off. Um, I also have a little, little bit of a little grease down here in this bottom anchor spot where the, where the shoe fits. If the shoe fits, the glove fits, you must have quit. Okay. We got that for a second. So plan B. Like I said, you can assemble this with the spring already on it and then wrap this baby up. And then I'll try to see if I can get that spring back on after the end of the shoes. Just because I like to cause myself some grief. No, that's not why. Just because I want to see if I can do it. The tool's about a hundred years old. Still works. Commentary here, there's not much to know other than try not to drop your stuff all over the floor. And you spend the next half hour on your hands and knees looking for it. Or you gotta go to the store and buy a homie kit. Oh, I can't see. I gotta tell you that light in the side of my face is definitely making this difficult. Good for you guys, bad for me.
creating a blind spot right where I need to see this pin. Or I should say a shadow. I just can't see it. There it goes. Thank you. All right. Now, now I'm gonna pop my little adjuster back in. I'm gonna say watch out for this side. Flip that baby over. Again, every car's gonna be a little bit different. You happen to have a center, and this is yours, but they're all kind of the same. I put the springs in slightly different places. I want to say, I want to be careful if I say it because I'm going to say the wrong thing. Somebody's going to go, that's not true. That's not how it works. So. This is the part that might have been easier doing it before I put it together, but we'll try it. This job's been taken all day because I keep getting interrupted. I'm going to bump right at that star wheel, right where I'm at. That's not the best position for it. Let's try this. That's way better. There you go. Does fit, does work. There you go. Get this recentered a little bit. Right about there. And start with good brakes again. Double check yourself before you get too far and then you gotta undo everything. Because that never happens. that we're going to use this tool again I'm going to hook that right in this little lip right here hopefully hopefully I'm gonna make this a little bit tighter let's try again just like that oh boy and make sure we get the little, little click 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 Sounds good. Now on this one, we do not have an adjustment window in the back. A lot of times you can get right through the back here. And there's an adjustment window. You reach back there with your adjusting spoon or screwdriver and turn the wheel. This one does not have one. We do have the hole in the front of the drum. I'll show you that one in a minute. I will try to get as close as I can. I'll slip the drum on a couple of times until I know it's close, and then I'll just finish it up. Uh, let's double check everything. We'll put a little grease or fluid film on here or whatever it is you have so hopefully the drum doesn't get stuck on there other than that we're looking pretty good there you go a little fluid film not the actual brand fluid film but a product much like I am reusing the old drums. There's really not nothing wrong with them. Let me just show you. They're not um. Now I'll get the grease off there. They're not really worn or anything. There's not the. Can you see? I see that. Yeah. They're not heat checked or nothing like that. They actually stop pretty good. They're not out of round. I did road test it beforehand. So, see if we save a family member a couple of dollars and these are the original Nissan drums. So these are hold up better than most of the aftermarkets. So we'll slide that on there. We will adjust this as much as we can. And then we'll just finish it up through the adjustment hole. Oh, I just went too far. 
Now you've done it. Pull that little, you guys see that right there? Pull this little, this little arm that sits this way to adjust the arm. Just pull it out a little bit. And then uh, rock your wheel back. If you've gone too far like I did. Oh, if I go too far. That little button right there. Get that baby out of there. I'll show you. Come on. That's your little button. Little rubber plug. You look through this hole. You should. Let me steal this light here. Oh. See right at that wheel right there. Let me get that little. Click, click, click. Don't make them ridiculously tight up for obvious reasons. You just want to feel a little drag. You can always adjust them a little bit more. It sucks to unadjust them. You gotta get in there with a hook tool now and pull that arm back. And get back the car up a couple of times, hit the brakes nice and hard because they will technically they're only gonna adjust going backwards so if you don't and it's a neat point if you don't go backwards enough and hit the brakes hard enough it will never adjust the self adjusters won't work you really have to go backwards it's that whole um, by design the way you, you go backwards and it pulls the brakes out and it breaks open up and that, that arm comes up it really doesn't do it going forward it's going back so you need to back the car up give it, give it a good brakes a good shot they'll adjust up a click do that a couple of times, two, three, four clicks, and it'll kind of find its own happy home. And that's feeling real good about there. I'm not gonna push my luck. Put the light back. Um, find my little rubber plug. Put a spot of grease on there. So it goes back in the hole nice. That is that. Well, that's it in a nutshell. Um, there's not a whole lot more to it. I'm gonna put the tire on. I'm still gonna do. I still have to do the other side. We'll road test it. Like I said, back it up a couple times. Hit the brake real hard. It should. If there's anything left in the adjustment, it'll adjust. Um, guys, that's about it. Keep it clean. Um, make sure everything's lubricated, like it's supposed to be. Don't overdo it because you don't want to get it all over the brake shoes. Use a quality product, hopefully one that doesn't screw up the installation of the uh, pins. And um, that's it. Any questions, comments, please you know leave, leave your comments below. Ask any questions. If there's some way, something I did you think was incorrect, by all means correct me. Uh, like and subscribe. Ring the bell. 